Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the leak code question insert into a binary search tree. Alright, so in this question we're given the root node of a binary search tree or also known as a BST and the value to search into the tree. Return the root node of the BST after the insertion. It is guaranteed that the new value does not exist in the original BST. So this actually makes it a lot easier for us. Okay, and notice that there may exist multiple valid ways to uh, insert the value inside of our BST, but as long as it holds the properties of a BST, we're good to go. So let's start off with what exactly is a binary search tree and what does it actually mean? So a binary search tree is a, a tree-based data structure and how it works is that given a certain no a root node, everything to the left of that certain root node is going to be uh, smaller or equal to or smaller than the value of the root node. For example, the root node, let's say, is 4 over here. Everything to the left of 4, so 2, 1, and 3, are all less than uh, 4. And that holds the property of a binary search tree. And similarly, everything to the right of that certain root node has to be greater than or equal to that number. So in this case, the number 4, and the, everything to the right of it is the number 7. And in this case, 7 is greater than 4, so it does make sense for us. Similarly, let's say 2 is our root node, and if you go to the left, it's 1, which is less than it, and to the right, we have 3, which is greater than it. Both of them make it a valid BST. Similarly, now let's say we want to add the number 5. When you add the number 5, we could put it over here on the left of 7. And that still holds the values or the rules that make something a BST, since 5 is less than 7, and it makes sense that it's to the left of it. And similarly, 5 is also greater than 4, so it does make sense. And this over here is another accepted solution. So in other words, there are several different accepted solutions, but as long as it follows the properties, we're good to go. So how exactly are we going to solve this question? Now, there's two different ways that we can look at it. So the best way would, or the most optimal solution would be, we're going to be going through this, and let's say we want the number 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at 4, we're going to check, is 5 greater than or less than 4? If it's greater than 4, we're going to move to the right because everything greater than is on the right. Now we're going to go to this no uh, root node over here and it has a value 7. Is 5 greater than or less than 7? It's less than, so we're going to go to the left and then we're going to continue until we actually reach a point where we want to insert our number. And in this case, this is our point. This is where we want to insert that number 5 and it makes sense since it fits in perfectly. So that's one way to do it. And another way that we could do is what we could do is we can kind of unpack our binary search tree over here. And in order to do that, the best way to do it is to use something called an in-order traversal. This is not the best solution, but I just want to go over it real quickly. And what an in-order traversal does, we go to the leftmost node, then we get the root node, and then we get the right node. So in this case, we're going to go to 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, and then 7. And as you can see, we get assorted uh, values, right, in ascending order, right? So that makes sense. Okay, so now that we have this, so all we're going to do in this more naive solution is we're first going to unpack our binary search tree and get all the values and put it inside of a list. So this is what we're doing over here. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to take those values, we're going to append this value to it. And after doing that, we're going to sort our list again, and then we're going to convert that into a tree node. So we're going to convert that into a binary search tree. And in order to do that, we're just going to uh, have this function over here called list to BST. And what this function is going to do is first we're going to get the middle value since obviously the middle value is going to be one of the root nodes or it doesn't have to be but that, that would be a pretty simple way to do it and we would get a more balanced tree in that way. So we go to the middle node over there and then once we get the middle node everything to uh, the left of that middle node is less than it so it's going to be to the left. Everything to the right of it is going to be on the right and we're going to keep doing that for each of our values until we get a complete tree, completed tree, we're going to return our root and that's what we end up returning. But this over here actually takes up a lot more time and it's not going to be the best solution. And the other, uh, the solution that we talked about earlier is actually going to be the best solution, which is going to it through it one by one and only inserting the value that we need to insert. So let's see how we can do that real quickly using Python. All right, so now let's see how exactly can we solve this and we're going to be using recursion in order to do so. All right, so we're going to start off by having an if condition. So what we're going to check for is we're going to check if the value that we need to insert is greater than whatever value we're currently on. So whatever node we're on, its value. So if the value is greater than the root's value, what does that mean? That means that we move to the right. 
So in this case, we're just going to go to the right. Okay, but what if this is not the case? If this is not the case, the value is less than the root's value. So in that case, we're going to end up moving to our left. So that's pretty simple, but what exactly are we going to do over here? All right, so over here, uh, we go to our right node. So root dot right, and we're going to change its value. So root dot right is now going to have a new value, and this new value over here, whatever it is, it's going to have the val, uh, which we need to insert, accounted for. We're going to be using recursion. And it's going to be pretty simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to call the function. So insert into BST. And what are we going to call the function on? So in the beginning, we called it on the main parent root, right? So now we're going to call it on that root's right child. So in this case, it's going to be root dot right. So that's going to be what we're going to call the function on. And the value as well, it's just going to stay the same. So this over here is going to be exactly the same for when we move to the left. So the only difference is that instead of going to the right node, we're going to be moving to the left node. So root dot left. And instead of calling the function on the right node, we're going to again call it on the left child. So that's pretty simple. And by doing this, what's going to happen is we're going to get to a spot where we will be able to add our, uh, our new value that we need to insert. And at the ending of this, we're going to end up returning our root. But this over here is actually going to throw us an error. We're actually not going to get a proper answer by doing so. And to be more clear, just to kind of show you, let's just submit this. And as you can see, it says attribute none time object has no attribute val, right? So what exactly is happening over here? So what we want to do is we have to actually insert our val over here inside of our root uh, binary search tree over here. But in order to do so, it has to be a tree node. So we want to make that. So how do we do that? So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to check if not root, sorry, if not root, that means that the root does, uh, has a value of none. And in that case, what we're going to do is we need to create a tree node object. So let's just do that. And the class is already defined for us over here. So return tree node, and we want to give it a value. And the value that we're going to give it is just going to be the exact same value that we have. And that should be it. So let's just change it up a bit. So this is an if. And instead of this being if, we can just make this else if. And finally, this is the else. Okay. So this over here now should work since we converted our value into a tree node val. And now it actually is added to our binary search tree in its appropriate place. And as you can see, our submission was accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully, this video did help you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.